Healthy Eating with Chef Lucy. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chef Boy RV with Chef Lucy. <laughs> and if you're hungry, then watch and see what we're making. <laughs> I have Chef Lucy here today and tell us what we're going to make. Okay, well today we're going to incorporate a seasonal ingredient, a staple from, you know, Thanksgiving. Uh, we see them everywhere, mm -hmm. but maybe we don't know how to do other, you know, how to incorporate it to the dinner other than the turkey. So today we're going to use be using some of the pizza over here, which we previously cooked. Yes. We put them in the oven for like about... 45 minutes, 375 degrees. Okay. And then I usually put like a salt, uh, like a bed of salt to like get all the bleeding from the beets and don't make a mess in the yeah. oven. <laughs> so that's important. And also they're gonna cook faster and evenly. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna do that for 45 minutes and peel, clean and slice and we're gonna have them ready for this amazing that we're gonna be making today. And we're making a? a panini and the ingredients that we're gonna have is like you never think that you can put it inside of yeah. one panini. I'm glad that she showed me how to use beets because I am one person that didn't know how to incorporate beets in, in different ways so. Yeah and then it's very important to like bring all these vegetables to the table because it's gonna bring some benefits to you know to the, our health. Mm -hmm. like th this one uh, they help uh, to repair the DNA in our cells, so it's very important just to bring new items to the diet. Absolutely. Okay, to the table. All right, so we have already, yeah, we already spent the hour cleaning, the hour cooking these, like, which is totally worth it. So we have that, and we're gonna be using ricotta cheese yes. for the panini. Um, you can just get like a little mixing bowl, and you mix the ricotta cheese we're gonna add some honey over here. You can use a honey or you can use maple syrup, um, all you want. And here you can add as far as, you know, for, for flavor and give some sweetness to the recipe. Over here, I'm adding some of the- Is it rosemary? Rosemary, yes. so bringing some herbs. Look like a traditional- it smells good. <laughs> like a traditional dinner, but in a sandwich, all right? So we're gonna put some walnuts in here, but we're gonna, just gonna do the mix really quick and we're gonna put them in the panini. It doesn't take that long. The only you know time that it's gonna take is during um, the cooking process of the beets. All right, so we have the mixture in there. If you wanna add more, more rosemary, you can do that. And we're gonna put the slices evenly on the toast. Look how beautiful it looks. And then she was mentioning you can cook the beets prior and then put them in a container to save them throughout the week for lunch. That way you have them ready to go. And all you have to do is really just yeah. put the sandwich together. The beets are already cooked. Mm -hmm. And gonna, you can also make salads with it. Um, I mean, once they're ready, you can use them in different, in different recipes. Okay, we're putting the walnuts in there. Just putting everything together and then we have the skillets already going preheat over here medium high so you don't you don't burn your bread you can <laughs> use any type of bread let's see okay and we're just gonna put it in toast the panini each side like a, like about four minutes each side okay making sure it doesn't burn you already have some of the marks in there for presentation. <laughs> and I'm gonna have um, some of the alfalfa on the side, which is like really nutritious as well, nutritious as well. And you can just put it in. So can you just, put yeah, the you can be inside of the sandwich? You can put it inside okay. of the sandwich or you can put it on the side, like a little salad. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get creative yeah. on, <laughs> as far as you're plating yes. your dinner over here or your lunch. All right. So we don't have that much time, but you can take your time yes. at home. You guys get the idea. Yeah, <laughs> and then nice and toasty, we're just gonna cut in half to present this delicious sandwich. Look. Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? That beautiful? The presentation. Mm -hmm. And then we eat. <laughs> <laughs> This is interesting because honestly, I think the last time I had beets was when you made the beet juice. Correct. So yeah. it was blended. So this is different. <laughs> That's two recipes already mm -hmm. that you can have, you know, these um, 
a vegetable mm, wow. or like root mm -hmm, to very, your diet. That's very good. The honey. That's different. That's yeah, very different. Like the honey, the rosemary, and the ricotta cheese, like that combination is like a, I don't know, you have to try it. <laughs> this is actually very good. And this is something that I wouldn't have even known to make or know how to make. So thank you very much. And if you'd like to learn more about this recipe and more, you can visit kymade.com or topmeals.com. Thank you. We'll be right back.